This is Jeff from PlaySaid, and in today's tutorial we're going to look at the smart court features available to squash players. So this is the home screen that's going to appear on the squash console, a touchscreen computer that will be outside the squash court. You can log in singles, doubles, groups, and you can also join in the top left if you haven't joined PlaySaid before. This is free and very quick and easy to do on court, online, or through the PlaySaid app. So you're going to need to input your name, birth date, email, and a six character or longer password. Ideally something that you will remember each time you step out onto a squash court. And you'll also want to put in your gender as well. That's on the bottom left of the join screen. And once you've joined, you're free to use all of the features available. For groups, you'll need to be designated as a coach by your squash facility. We'll go over that later in a different tutorial. We're going to focus on singles and doubles today. So to get started on singles mode on squash, you'll log in. And you need at least one player to log in for the system to start recording. You can watch previous sessions from this specific smart court if you've played on it before. And you can also have a match or practice. And this is a way of the system separating your video files for easy access later on if you want to review through the app, online, or on court. The functionality is the same for match or practice mode on squash smart courts. First, we're going to look at a previous session and go over some of the tools available. So here we have one previous session saved on this smart court. And once you click it, the debrief window opens up. This is the same look and feel from all of our sports. You can see in the top toolbar, you can record a custom video. When you click on this red mic button, everything on the screen, in addition to your voice, gets recorded, and you have the option of saving it to your PlaySet account. This is great for highlight clips if you want to make your own, or creating a coaching clip after a lesson. We'll go over this in more detail in a future tutorial. And you can see I'm toggling between the three different views here on this squash court. All the cameras are synced in real time, so whenever you pause it on one frame and switch to a different camera, that exact same moment in the match or practice will come up. And you can see on the bottom you have the same tools available as in tennis and basketball and our other sports. From sl slow motion in the bottom right to 5 and 10 seconds skipping, playing, pausing, and of course all of the drawing tools are available as well for coaching, tactical footwork, and biomechanical analysis feedback. And whenever you draw on the screen, just like our other sports, that drawing will show up for a few seconds over top of that scene. And when you slow motion forward or backwards, it will slowly fade out, as you can see here. Squash has typically been a sport that's hard to capture with real-time video, but thanks to our permanently installed PlaySite cameras, you can review everything instantly, during a practice session, during a match, or right after. If you wanted to review a great shot, or as a coach working with a player, you wanted to go over something in real time. And this is particularly effective with younger players who, for the most part, are very visual learners. Instead of telling them the same thing over and over again, you can pull up the video quite quickly, do a quick drawing, save the coaching clip to their account and your account, and they can review it at home, in between sessions, and so on. Now that we've looked at some of the analysis tools available on a squash smart court, let's take a look at the match and practice functionality. So once you've logged in on singles mode, and you click on the match or practice mode that you want to use, the real-time screen will come up, which you'll see in just a second here. When your match or practice is over, you'll want to click Analyze in the bottom left, and that will take you back to the video window we were just looking at. And in the bottom right is the instant replay function. This will appear at the 27 second mark, and this is great for looking at great shots or if you wanted to review something in more detail during a match or during a practice. You get access to all of the camera angles from this feature. You can also always log out in the top right, restart the drill by clicking restart in the middle of the screen, or restart the match in this case, and also return to the menu in the top left of the screen as well. And looking at doubles now, the same functionality is available to double squash players. So at least one player needs to log in for the system to start recording, and anybody who logs in will get the video saved to their account. If you want the video saved, it's very important that you create a PlaySet account and log in with it each time you step out onto a smart court. So once one of the players is logged in, you can see the doubles functionality looks very similar to the singles. You can look at previous sessions, you can play a match or have a practice session as well. Again, the similar screen here, the instant replay will come up at the 27 second mark in the bottom right. You can analyze in the bottom left when you're finished. You can restart the practice session or match at any time, and you can also return to the menu or log out 
in the top right of this window.